Hi there, this is a topic video covering direct and indirect taxes. Here's a chart showing the main sources of UK government tax revenue in the financial year 2015-2016. And you can see pretty clearly that income tax and VAT are easily the two biggest sources of tax revenue coming into the British government. National insurance contributions paid by both employers and employees also contribute significantly, over £110 billion per year. And there's a whole range of tax revenues coming in from excise duties, the council tax, business rates and corporation tax, the tax on company profits. In this short video, we're going to make a distinction between direct taxation and indirect taxation. So direct taxes are taxes levied on income, on wealth and on profit. And uh, good examples, as we've mentioned, include income tax, inheritance tax, uh, national insurance contributions, corporation tax paid by profits. The key point about a direct tax, in theory, is that the burden of a direct tax cannot be passed on. My tax liability is my tax liability. I can't pass it on to somebody else. Indirect taxes, of course, are taxes on the items that we spend. So excise duties on fuel are included, cigarettes and alcohol. And the biggest one, of course, is value-added tax, which is levied on, on a wide range of different goods and services, although the rate does vary, as we'll see in a second. Now, with an indirect tax, a tax imposed on the producer, the producer may be able to pass on that tax to the consumer in the form of a higher price. Of course, that depends on the price elasticity of demand and also the price elasticity of supply. Quick look at income tax in the UK. Everybody has a tax-free allowance up to a certain level of around £10,600. Your taxable income is your gross income minus your annual tax allowance. So if my gross income is, let's say, £50,000 per year, of that, 39400 is taxable. Of course, the UK tax system is progressive, certainly in terms of income tax. The marginal rate of tax is the tax paid on the next pound of income. And that increases as your taxable income goes up. So, for example, you pay a marginal rate of 20% on taxable income of £1 to just under £32,000. And from £32,000 to £150,000, you pay at the, the higher rate of 40%. Above £150,000 per year, income is taxed at the marginal rate of 45%. So, the key point here is that as income goes up, you pay a higher marginal rate of income tax. And this means that the average tax rate paid by somebody on £100,000 will be significantly above the average tax uh, paid by somebody on, let's say, £20,000. VAT is a good example of an indirect tax. And the standard rate of VAT has been 20% since 2011. However, there are some exemptions and some reductions in VAT. So a reduced rate, which is a minimum 5% in the EU, is applied to items such as women's sanitary products, contraceptives, children's car seats. There's a big debate about whether sanitary products in particular should be subject to VAT at all. There is zero rated VAT on items such as books, newspapers, new houses, uh, prescription drugs in the NHS, children's clothing and cycle helmets. And some items are completely exempt from value-added tax. So rent on, on housing, uh, school fees exempt at the moment from VAT, stamps, burial and cremation services, and small businesses such as a small cafe for example uh, may be below the turnover limit for VAT registration and therefore they don't have to pay VAT. So income tax and value-added tax are two good examples of the difference between direct and indirect taxation.